PhD is not just a degree. It is a philosophy of observing things and doing great research. It takes a lot of dedication and patience to do a PhD. You spend several years of your life earning this title. Also, it is the beginning of your research career. It is your training time. You learn a lot from your supervisor. What you learn from your PhD is what you take forward in your career and the way you do science as an independent researcher. Therefore, it becomes very important to choose your PhD supervisor wisely. Selecting a wrong lab can make you land nowhere. So do your homework before you choose your PhD guide or supervisor. Hello and welcome to Explore Bio. In today's video, you will learn how to find a great PhD supervisor. The first thing is clarity of your mind. You should know well which topic or which area excites you for your research. Next, shortlist the supervisor based on the area of research that matches your interest. For example, if you are interested in cancer biology, then look for such a supervisor who is working in that area. Check for their level of expertise and research, which is evident from their publications and patents. What is the quality of the papers they publish? If the supervisor is in senior position, having few years of experience, he or she should have more papers as corresponding author. If he or she is a relatively young scientist or professor, look for how many papers were published as first author. You can also check how frequently he publishes the paper. The supervisor should have well-established lab or sufficient fundings to carry out research. You do not want to struggle for getting equipment or chemicals and consumables for doing your research. You should check how open he is for collaboration with other scientists or professors for research. This is important as healthy collaborations will help you learn more, improve your skills as well as it eases and speeds up your research progress. Check whether the previous PhD students of the supervisor are heading for a better scientific career. Do they hold a good scientific or teaching position? If you get an opportunity to talk or visit the supervisor prior to the onset of PhD, find out what he wants from you as a PhD student and what you expect from him and his lab. If this is possible, it will be really very helpful for you to decide choosing a right lab. You may also take reviews from his previous and present students about him and his way of supervising. But still, it is more about an individual experience and how things are being perceived. At last, I would suggest you to spend few months in that lab. If you find that things are not working well and this is not the right lab for you, discuss with the supervisor, seek his help and guidance if needed. If you find a solution, it is great. Else, you should try for another lab without wasting too much time. A good supervisor will always help you deal with problems and your tough times. He might even help you to settle somewhere else if things are not working well. In reality, PhD journey teaches you a lot how you deal with failures, rejections, undesirable results. It also teaches you how to manage time, finances, your work-life balance, etc. Do not allow situations make you depressed, rather learn and evolve as a better person. If you find the information useful, do like and share to the needful. It might help them choosing a right supervisor. Comment below if I miss some important information. Watch my video playlist on diverse research topics. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified about my latest uploads. Finally, thanks for watching.